This is not an adventure video. This is actually a video that I thought that I would never make. Um, but I feel like I owe you an explanation about why you haven't seen Allie. <sighs> the reason why I haven't addressed this earlier is because it's hard for me to talk about without getting emotional. <sighs> I thought I'd be better today, but obviously it's coming right back up. <sighs> I get why you're curious. For the past few months, I've gotten endless comments and questions through email and YouTube, and it's even become a Google search term. People are so curious, and I, I understand. You became emotionally involved in our relationship when I introduced you all last year. I, I get it. Um, we shared a lot with you. We shared our hearts and our souls. And uh, so I understand why you're curious and I'm, I'm gonna try to address that right now. A little over one year ago, I shared some very exciting news with you. Some of the most exciting news of my life. I had fallen in love and it was the best feeling in the world. And I know a lot of you have felt the same feeling. There is nothing better on the planet than meeting somebody who gets you and sees you and uh, you just, you fall magically in love. And that's what happened last March when I met Ali. I finally thought that I had met the one I had met my match and we would live happily ever after. I made a video last year about us prancing through Mexico and it was like a fairy tale, it really was. But it was also deep. It wasn't just some surface level love. I mean, we really connected very quickly and uh, it was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. Ali is the first woman that I've looked at and said, I love you in over 10 years and I meant it with all of my heart and my soul, and it felt so good. And she felt the same way. She loved me. And we decided to really go for it, to have the courage to really explore this love and to see if it's something that we wanted to continue on with the rest of our lives. So we did something really big right off the bat. You all followed Love Cycles last summer as we rode our bikes across the country. And that adventure was so beautiful. And you were all with us every step of the way. And uh, it was, in many ways, a dream come true. I was finally going to share something that I love, which is adventure travel, meeting new people with the person that I love. That is something that I'd always wanted to do. And Allie was game for it. She was right on board and it was like, yes, I finally met my person. And so we set off from the beaches of Oregon last June, about a year ago right now, full of hope and excitement and a lot of love. You know, of course, <laughs> We did have some rough moments. We did argue. We were together all day, every day for almost 90 days, sleeping in a tiny tent, you know? It was tough sometimes, but for the most part, it was beautiful. And we saw some of the most amazing landscapes this country has to offer. But what will forever stick with me are the people we met. We met all sorts of beautiful people every single day going across the country. And uh, that, was, that was the magic of it all. It really, really was. I think back to some of my favorite moments. I can't speak for Allie, but there were the moments where it was just us. The camera wasn't on, you know, enjoying a sunset or a sunrise or just listening to the birds chirping at five in the morning as, as the sun came up over the horizon, jumping in rivers and bodies of water and just goofing around, you know? And uh, I'll forever, I'll forever 
have this ex experience, and so will Allie. And it, it was such a beautiful experience, and the, and the love is, is still there. It's all the way across the country, and it's, it's still on YouTube. I mean, there we are in love on YouTube, sharing our stories with you, interviewing people about love, and that's something that will forever live on. And uh, I'm really proud of that. And, and I've, you know, I've made a lot of YouTube videos and content over my lifetime, but I have to say the Love Cycle series is something that I'm most proud of. And I could not have done it without Allie. She was, she was the impetus for that. She was the one that came up with the idea of asking people for love advice. And it was simple, and it was beautiful, and it was genius, and it tied the whole ride together. And I've gotten emails from people all over the country, all over the world, thanking us for sharing the story. You know, people, you know, people from Australia saying, hey, we get a bunch of uh, news about your country from main, mainstream media, and you, what you showed us is a completely different side of the United States. I'm, I'm really proud of, of, of what we did together. I really am. And I'll be forever grateful to Allie for coming along with me and uh, wanting to do something crazy like this. You don't meet somebody every day who was like, hell yeah, I'll drop everything and ride across the country for three months with you. As much as it hurts now we've been broken up for about two and a half months as much as it hurts i feel very lucky and and fortunate to have met ali she is an outstanding woman she's an outstanding human she looks at the world in a much different way than i do and i learned a lot from her and i'll forever think back to our time together as probably one of the most beautiful years of my life. We really shared a lot in 12 months. You know, we joked sometimes that our three month bike ride was like a relationship on turbo speed. Now here's the big question that I'm sure all of you are asking and wondering about. Why did you break up? What you had was so magical. How could it end? You went all the way across the country asking people for love advice. Why didn't you use that advice? And my answer is we did use that advice and we tried our hardest, but we're just at different places in our lives. And that's all I really am going to say about it. You know, we, we ended on, on great terms. We sat in a park here in Boulder and we just cried in each other's arms. We told each other how much we loved one another, uh, how grateful we were for the time we spent together. I cried a lot more than she did because I'm, I'm the crier. <laughs> but as far as a breakup goes, I, I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful moment. And uh, since then, it's been hard. It's hard to go from having a girlfriend and thinking about possibly planning a life together forever and then not having a girlfriend anymore and waking up alone in your bed. And you know, I've been going through a roller coaster as I'm sure Allie has been too, where I'm like, all right, I'm good today. I'm solid. I'm moving on. And then other days it all comes hitting me back straight in my heart and I get sad and bummed out and cry and call my mom and call my friends. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's what happens when you break up. It sucks. There's nothing worse than breaking up and having a piece of your heart broken. I mean, this isn't my first rodeo. Allie's not the first girlfriend I've had and each one sucks. It really does. Um, but it, it shows, it shows me how much I did love her because of the pain that I'm going through now. If it was just something casual and easy and didn't mean much and was surface level, I would have been able to move on no problem, but it wasn't. It was deep and meaningful and magical and everything you could ever imagine in a relationship. <sighs> I would like to thank you all out there for embracing Ali into my YouTube channel. 
I didn't know how you would react when I introduced you to her last year and you fell in love with her just as I did. And I, I thank you for that. And I thank you for watching Love Cycles and the other videos that we made. And uh, our goal was always to show the world in a much more beautiful light than the mainstream media does. And I think we did that. We accomplished our goal. And that legacy will live on forever. So I know that a lot of you have missed Ali. I get it. I miss Ali too. But you're just, you're stuck with me now. You're back to boring old Doozer TV. But I'm gonna continue creating videos. I'm gonna continue doing what I've done all my life, creating content that hopefully inspires viewers to get up off their couches and get outside and do things that they don't think that they are capable of doing. And I wanna give you the confidence to do that. And I'm gonna introduce you to more beautiful people, my friends, strangers, whatever. This camera's going with me around the world. I'm going to therapy. I'm reading relationship books. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to become a better man. And that's really what it comes down to. Every day, I want to be a better person. I want to be a better man, a more loving man. And uh, yeah, that's what life's all about, right? I hope you continue watching my videos and being part of this channel. I absolutely love creating this content. I absolutely love sharing my heart and my soul. Even when I'm making videos like this where they're kind of boring and I'm crying and talking about a breakup, I promise we'll get back to adventure videos soon. But I feel like this was important to share with you. We'll see you down the road.